Hey there, welcome back. I am Jen Sorensen, and we've got another fantastic princess soap today in our princess soap series. The birds are chirping, that is for sure, and I think they're chirping for this particular princess that we have going on. Uh, if that doesn't tell you who it is, then um, definitely stay tuned. But I, before I get in, I do refer to the bell soap in this one, which is not what this soap is. And I wanted to show that to you right now because I'm not going to have time to edit this video and the, the bell video. And I wanted to show you the soap. It smells beautiful. The scent is called Endlessly in Love. It's a little fruity, a little floral. It's a good combination between the two. And you've got the two shades of yellow and the brown for her hair in here. A little bit of gold on top. I will still edit this video at some point and post it, but um, for now I wanted to talk about that one to show you real quick before we dive into today's soap. You can see the leaves behind me are already starting to change a little bit. Um, dogs are barking next door. The animals are out for this princess. So let's jump in right now, make this, and then we'll come back to this spot and we'll check in to see how the soap cured, the colors, all of that. Let's go. All right, well, it is time to go OG Princess Snow White herself. I've been putting this one off, honestly, because I've seen others do Snow White. And it's such a easy interpretation, but it's also one of the ones that, you know, I wanna do right. Now, I want to be totally clear, I designed this soap before I saw anything out there on them. I designed all my princess soaps and all my Disney ones. I kind of had this idea for a single color bottom and then a second color on top with a drop swirl. This soap was kind of the beginning of that inspiration. And actually, I will show you in my notebook here I actually have a ton of designs in the back where I've just kind of written out ideas. I wrote these out in the back ages ago. I shouldn't say ages ago, about a couple month and a half ago before I started making this. So in early June at this point, blend this up. So I started, because I am a huge Disney fan, I started thinking about how I could do some Disney soaps. And this was the first one that came to mind. Now, Royalty Soaps, Katie Carlson over there, did a Snow White that was sort of similar to this. And she referred to a few others in her Instagram that had done some similar stuff. So I fully want to acknowledge that this is not completely original and that there are others that have done stuff. This is my interpretation. And my whole series of Disney-inspired soaps is just my personal interpretation. I am not the first person to do a Disney soap. I am not the last person. Do you know the number of people out there that make Disney inspired items is massive. So I think it's, it's just a testament to what Walt Disney himself has done to what we as a society love in terms of entertainment. And especially right now, I wanna wipe this bowl out because I see some water in here from when I just washed it. And I'm using a different bowl now. Swap this out, hold on. Okay. Yes, I swapped bowls, there we go. Wipe that one out too. All right, the bottom layer is going to be the yellow, like the bottom of her dress. The top layer is going to be blue and then we are going to do a red swirl. So we will get a good amount into that for the blue and a good amount, oh, that's probably good for the red. So I am using an, oh my goodness. The scent is incredible. Real delicious apple. This smells like I have gone apple picking in a New England orchard and I picked a fresh apple and I am taking a bite out of it. Obviously, apple, again, not original with Snow White and the apple, but it, what is nice is this is more of my New England 
feel to it. I've seen others do more of the candy apple, which I have, and I want to do, I already have sketched out a poison apple theme soap. So we will, um, I will get to that at some point. Put that off to the side and add in our fragrance oil here. Save some for the top. And let's give this a little bit of a blend. So in my yellow, I have a Brambleberry yellow and a neon yellow from Mad Micah's. That neon should help anchor it. All right, I wanna get this in and try and thicken this soap up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells incredible. All right, this is another one that is just not thickening up. I don't know if you remember, my bell one would not thicken up very well. So um, let's do a little more blending. I don't want it to separate then. I don't know. I'm just gonna pour this and maybe as it spreads out, it will thicken up a little bit. So we will give this a nice pour. All right. And I do, oh, and I just poured totally off camera for you, but you can kind of see what I'm doing over here. I am going to scrape this into the container here, into the mold. Let me bring this brambleberry mold over here not sponsored no one sponsors me ever so um until you hear me say something is sponsored nothing i pay for everything out of pocket here you know brambleberry give me a call any of these companies sure why not because this can get expensive but it is so therapeutic oh my gosh so therapeutic okay i have my bottom layer in here. Let's whisk up our top layer. Yeah, that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna do a little bit of dance here. I'm gonna move my colors off to the side. So I'm using some really strong colors here. And in order to make sure that they get fully incorporated, I pulled a little bit of the oil out of the container to start before I mix in my lye water. So I'm not also changing the ratio of the colors of the oil and lye and all that. So I am adding in the blue to the main one, which is the top of her dress. And then I'm going to add red. This is ultramarine blue. And this is um, the red combo that um, Mad Micah's recommends. So it is, what is it, Voodoo, um, Voodoo, Brazen Hussy, and Spicy Tomato. So if you mix equal parts of those together, you get a really nice red. So, how are we doing? All right, that's setting up, that's doing okay. All right, so I feel comfortable adding in my fragrance oil now into both of those. Look at that. Okay, that is so cool. Look at how that is blooming with the fragrance oil. I love it so much. All right, I am going to use my manual whisk. Start in the red. Really get this whisked up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna need to buy more of this fragrance oil. It is so good. Like this is the perfect fall scent. It is amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't even. You guys need to smell how true apple this smells. All right, and let's see how this blue is looking. I may need to stick blend, I don't know. I'm trying to be careful here. Maybe I should have used, maybe I should have washed my bigger bowl that I was going to use instead of this one, but I don't know. I like, like I always pick the small whisk 
because it's nice and fits in my hand when I have two bigger whisks than this. But I just like the smaller ones. I have small hands. I must be just dainty like Snow White. But also, can we talk for a minute? That story would never happen in this day and age, like going to some stranger's house and seeing beds for seven male names as a female, like no, that would never happen. Which is why it's a fairy tale. But like, I don't even want that to happen. I think that's why I, I Cinderella was my favorite growing up, but I think I love the modern day ones because they're like, uh, no, I don't need a man. I'm good, I'm a strong female. Moana, Rapunzel, Merida, like they're all, you know, Anna and Elsa. They're all awesome females. Ooh, yay, 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 yay. This setup, it's not jiggling. See, it's not jiggling. Okay, let's do this. Get my whisk out of here. Put that in my bucket, grab my spatula, and all right, bottom layer, boom, boom, baby. That's for you, Kimberly. All right, I need to push this forward so this bowl doesn't fall. Okay, that's in there. Let's go with some red. And this is where I'm differing from some of my other soap making creators here, is that they did the just three lines, small ones, so that it looked like the teardrops on her dress. I'm being true to what I've been doing for all of my Disney soaps, and that is just doing a drop swirl. I don't need to be exact. I want this to be my personal interpretation. And I think that's the message I wanna get out from this video is, yeah, there's room for all of us and there's room for all of us to be ourselves. And just because someone else has done something doesn't mean that you can't. And just because you know, you, you've had an idea that someone else started to execute doesn't mean you can't do your own version too. Be you, be who you are. Like my videos are me, it's who I am. And yes, I watch a lot of other quilters, soap artists, runners, you know, all these different folks out there and I get inspiration from them, no doubt about it but I wanna be me. And I will pump up every single one of them when I can, when the opportunity is right. You know, I, I long live by the philosophy that a candle doesn't lose anything by lighting another candle. It doesn't dim, it doesn't burn out. It just, be, it just lights another candle. And I think that's a philosophy we can all live by. All right, preaching over, I promise. Anyway, I wanna try and finish with some red stripes here. Let's see what I can get. All right, we're getting one. We're getting two. Can we get a third out of this? I just don't know. Well, you know what that means? We can swirl and we actually, let's see, what if I did this? You know what, I think this is messy enough that I think swirling may make it look nice too. And again, that makes it my own. It'll be no one else's but mine. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna use my toothpick here, not toothpick, popsicle stick, 
that I use to stir up the red. I think I'm gonna use the opposite side, so I think I'm gonna put my paper towel around the side that I stirred. Let's shimmy. Let's kind of just swirl. Yeah, okay. I like this. I like that this is abstract. I like that this is, you're gonna know which princess this is. I mean, between the scent and what we've got going on with these colors, you will know exactly who this is based off of, no doubt. And if you don't, can we really be friends? I mean, I'm sure we can, but really, really? All right, I'm not gonna add any glitter to this one. I know, shocking, but I am going to spritz this with some rubbing alcohol and we will wait about 24 to 36 hours. Given how things have been curing for me lately with how humid it is and warm, I'm gonna be extra cautious because I cannot wait to see this one and I'm so glad it's set up well. Let's take you down and give you a close up of it. Look how great that looks. Beautiful blue, great red, and I seriously wish they were smell-o-vision because this smells so amazing. So stick around and see what it looks like when we cut into it. All right, we've got Snow White here ready to cut. This fragrance oil just acted so well that this is ready to cut within 24 hours. And that is even when it's really humid. So I'm really curious to see how this cuts. All right, let's get this on here so you can see. And I think actually I'm gonna cut a tiny bit off the end because it's like a little tiny bit, but not a ton. Just want a nice clean layer on the end. I'm going to hide that. I don't wanna see it. I'm not looking right there. Let's get a good two and a half centimeter slice or just about one inch. Yes. That is exactly what I was going for. Perfect. I mean, come on, if that's not Snow White and if you smell this, it smells just like a beautiful crisp apple. Like seriously, this may be one of my new favorites because it just smells so, so good. I am in love. I am going to have to make another batch of this because I know you guys are going to love this. It smells incredible. I did get a little tiny bit of soda ash, but literally for the first use that you guys use this for, it's going to go away. That's, you know, not, that, that has nothing to do with the soap itself, but oh, I am so happy. Why don't I check in with you guys in a couple weeks, my time, so you guys can see how these colors cure. Be really curious to see how this yellow goes. Um, you're seeing this, I've got my lights going here above and on the side, um, my camera lights here. Be really curious to see how the yellow acts and to check this out in daylight because it's like nine o'clock my time. But um, yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with how this turned out. What do you guys think? Do you get Snow White from this? All right, I told you we'd be back right in the same spot. And here we are. Look at this. Now, obviously I was a little off of my proportions of the bottom and the top, but I'm not mad at that because that drop swirl, the red and the blue together with that yellow is just, oh my gosh. And this seriously smells like I just went apple picking. Like the scent is incredible. It is a literal interpretation of apple. This is the perfect, perfect fall soap. If you want something that is um, very fresh and fruity, but not like sweet or tangy, it literally just smells like apples. Like I am in love with this and I didn't think I would be as much as I am. So definitely check this out. I am in love. And let me know in the comments if you love these 
um, the way that this drop swirl is um, and how I've got a little bit more up top or if you like the 50-50 split or if it doesn't really matter, if you just like to see the interpretation, um, drop a note in the comments below. Definitely subscribe because you know we got villains coming up. That is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to get into those. Um, and ring the bell too if you want to get notifications when they come out. I've got probably, you know, eight or so of them coming. You know, two a week will, will be the goal um, along with some other crafty videos. So check it out. Thank you so much for watching and, and your sub support. This is in the shop now if you want to check it out for the fall. Um, but until next time, I hope you guys get out there and create something beautiful. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.